Ah, oh, awesome. What's up, guys? I'm glad to see you here on my channel. And today I'm super pumped. I want to tell you about this fantastic RTA Hester MTL Mini RTA. Yeah, intro. Oh, I didn't make intro. Yeah, whatever. What can I tell you about this RTA? I'm using it already for one week and no RDAs, no RTAs, just this little bastard. If you're looking for perfect RTA, I think this is your best choice. So Hester comes in metal box. Inside of the box, you will see the RTA smoked replacement glass and two drip tips. One is Delrin, another one made of stainless steel. This atomizer is 22 millimeters. And now when nearly every company makes atomizers for a minimum 24, making atomizer for 22 millimeters, I think is, is, is not the best option. Yeah, because previous Haster RTA with replacement resistors, it was 24 millimeters. People complained about that atomizer that, oh, I don't want to change the resistors. I just want to adjust my airflow to get the resistant like cigarette pop. So two little company, they decided let's make something new. So they made this atomizer. From the first look, it looks like the same Hester RTA, but mini version is i think it's two two milliliters base has two holes for your cotton and two screws to tight your coil the big hester had four screws so you can put your coil any side you want it to but here only one direction or one side the airflow has only two holes yeah and you get pretty resistant pop Wicking. Installing coil and wicking this RTA is super simple. Just make sure you will not put cotton too tight into these holes, otherwise it will be lack of e juice in your cotton and you will get burnt flavor. So don't do that. Chimney is super small, that's why you get such a perfect ideal flavor. For now, I'm telling you, this is my best, best MTL RTA. Every other RTA and MTL RTAs I tried before, yeah, they good, but this one, the best one. What I really like in this atomizer is that you can get access to your coil without getting rid of your e-juice. To refill it, it has the same system of uh, opening the cap. Just turn it, open it easy the same with closing very simple and yeah one issue i hate about this rta drip tips the hole in the drip tip the tube in the drip tip is smaller than the chimney hole so all the juice concentrates under the drip tip so when you make a pop all that the juice comes to your mouth and stays on your lips. It's like you're like you're drinking the juice. It ain't cool. I switched to another drip tip and it's okay, it solved the problem. But there is a space between the cap and the drip tip. And I tried different drip tips and only Hester drip tips fit it. Looks like they're a little bit high for this tank. But I don't want to use the stock ones. I use my own ones. So please, Cthulhu, do something with that. What I can tell you about this RTA? Buy it. Just buy it. You, you, you don't need any information. Looks perfect. Everything is okay. I like the stealth mod. I like how it looks. The quality, quality is fantastic. I, I can say that the quality is the same as the previous Hester MTL RTA, but the mini one, oh, this is my favorite RTA for now. The good point if you use nicotine salt, it's also compatible with nicotine salt, so I think for you it will be okay. If you use nicotine salts, if not, never mind. Amazing, really amazing. If you can make 
the tube of the drip tip wider, you can drill it, make it bigger. Yeah, it, it probably will solve this problem with pea juice come to your mouth and uh, But anyway, this RTA is amazing. Would I recommend it to buy? Yes, of course. The price is nearly $30, maybe $35. Does it worth it? Yes, it does. Hit that like button if you like this video. See you in the next one.